Hey guys, so today we are going to learn the basics of using a multimeter for mobile phone repairs. Yeah, so um, in mobile phone repairs, we do have the basics of using the multimeter. So here is a multimeter. This is a digital multimeter. And in mobile phone repairs, we have the analog multimeter and the digital multimeter. But this one is the digital one which shows the numbers in serial like this. So if you want to read the battery percent of any mobile phone, you need to turn it to voltage here, which starts from 2, starts from 20, 200 to 1000. This is what we use for reading mobile phone batteries. And then we also have the resistance for reading motherboard. So this one is the resistance for reading motherboard. So this is how the resistance works. As for the resistance, resistance is anything that reads from here to here is called resistance. So let's check it out. So you see, it is beeping. And this is what we call resistance. This will help you to know if the device is having shots or not. So for example, if you are trying to trace faults on a motherboard, this is the particular um, settings that you have to use on the multimeter to be able to read each and every IC on the motherboard, okay? So this is what we call resistance. All right, so this is for the motherboard uh, testing side, motherboard checking, but for the, but for the battery, the battery side, as for the battery, if you want to read the battery, you need to turn it to the voltage. This is the voltage. So we are going to switch to 20 volts. This 20 volts right now will help you to read the percentage of any mobile phone battery. All right. So for example, I have here with me a Huawei battery. And we are going to try to read the voltage of this battery using the 20 volts. Okay, so these are the terminals here. And all we're going to do is just put the red probe, the black probe here, and then the red probe here. And you can see that the battery is reading 3.99, which is enough to power any mobile phone device. So with this, you can be able to check if the battery is 